This bull is named Scoop. When he turns, and you look at his left ear, you'll see why I named him that. I could have named him Punch, but Scoop it is. Scoop has very long brow tines. He also has very long royal tines. He could be downright dangerous in a fight. He's resting here because he has a lady friend. Actually, he's got more than that. That's his cow friend right there, curled up in a little coltish ball. But she's not the only one there. If you look closely here, you'll see a cow and a calf in that devil's club, munching away. To the sound of an angry squirrel. I have to step aside and research this for a second. There you are. Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm trying to film some moose here. Okay, that's better. So there's the calf and the mom's behind it. So it's time for Scoop to get up and investigate. Oh, I want to point out that thrashed area to his left. He tore that up. Okay, time to check out the cow. Well, this is interesting. His cow blocked his progress to go check out the other cow. I guess she's going to take matters into her own hands. He's not into the cow's games today. So he finds himself with Tippy. And Tippy wants to spar. But if you read Scoop's body language here, yeah, he's not in the mood. And Tippy reads the room correctly, but he can't help himself. He wants to spar with Scoop. Tippy gave up and wandered off and bedded, and Scoop joined him. This reminds me of when Fondue bedded next to Tippy. I guess Tippy's just that kind of easygoing, non-threatening kind of young bull. Easy to be around. We hope to see both of these guys later. We'll keep you posted. But for now, it's just another one of those lazy, rainy days. No drama. There's plenty of time for that later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.